What's up guys? Welcome to today's vlog. So today what we're gonna do is a bob haircut. Now, I know I've done quite a few bobs recently, but this one's a little bit different. It's an undercut bob. I do it one length and then we go in and do some dry cutting techniques. So undercut bob with a clipper, then we blow it dry, then we do uh, dry cutting techniques to finish it off. So I think you guys are really gonna dig that. Also, uh, the cool thing about this bob is we're setting ourselves up for hair color because I wanna start doing more hair color on the vlog. Let me know if you're into that, if you'd like to see that. This is the cut and color that we did. On this video, you're gonna see the cut and then there'll be a new video tomorrow, which will be the color. So hopefully you guys look forward to that. We did a deeper base on the root and then we blended it into the ends, nice light ends. I show you guys how to lift it, how to neutralize it. We play with some toners from Joyco, it's pretty cool. So this is what you have coming up. This is the haircut that we did today. Here's the undercut that you can see underneath. So pretty fun uh, cut and color. So I hope you guys like it. Again, let me know in the comments below if you wanna see more videos like this with cut and color combo. If you guys have any ideas, let me know as well. Uh, I got a lot of cool things coming up. So hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get started with our step-by-step. -step. Here we go. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel right now hit that subscribe button right there so that you don't miss any of the videos that we have coming up all right here we go all right guys so we're going to start off this video like every video we're going to start off by sectioning the haircut sectioning is the most important part now it's really important with this haircut because of the fact that we're going to do an undercut an undercut is basically removing density from the cut so taking away a lot of the hair but allowing the top of the hair to fall over it um, which basically gives you a lighter feel to the haircut, um, more PC feel, uh, especially with thick, dense hair. So this is a really cool cut for somebody with a thicker to medium density hair. If they have fine hair, I wouldn't do this haircut on them. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off doing clipper over comb. The reason I chose clipper over comb is because, first off, I just want to get the bulk out of the way. So I'm going to use my YS Park 209 comb. This is a great comb for clipper over comb because it's nice and wide, so and it's got a smooth surface, so it's easy to glide over uh, the comb with the clipper. So I just hold the hair into my hand, and I cut it at around the length that I'm looking for. It's not necessarily this isn't the final cut. I'm just getting the bulk out of the way and then working my way through. You could also use a guard in this, but I want to leave it a little bit longer. Um, I don't like to go shaving the bottom of the hair because my goal is really just to have a nice kind of push off so that it gives a little height to the rest of the haircut. So if you think about it, if I leave a little bit of density throughout the bottom and in the nape area, when the top hair falls over, it pushes it out a little bit, gives it some more volume. So I go through, clip her over comb, clean it up nice, get all the lengths very similar, and then I'll go through and do my detailing on the edges. So I'm scooping the hair up, um, angling the comb towards me, and uh, passing the clipper over the comb. Now what I'm going to do is go through and do a little blow dry just to smooth down the hair. Now this is for a couple reasons. I'm using a mannequin. The hair tends to stick straight out from the head. So this could be a similar situation that you guys are in. But I like to go through and just uh, blow dry it, use the heat of the blow dryer to lay down the hair, get it nice and polished. Then I go through and I clean up the edges using my scissor. I'm using the Mizutani Type K scissor. This is one of my favorites. Um, that we have on freesaloneducation.com for purchase. You can check that out as well. But I like this scissor at a five and a half inch because it gives me a nice strong blade. But this scissor is very, very soft. So if you love a soft feel to the haircut when you're cutting hair, then this is definitely the scissor for you. So you can see, nice, not too short, but short enough. Now I'm gonna comb everything back to me and go center part uh, directly down across the top and then down center back. And I'm going to separate this into four quadrants. We're going to make this haircut very simple. So the hardest part is that undercut. Make sure that your sectioning is the right way. But now what I'm going to do is go through just braiding off each section or each panel. Uh, the reason I like to braid it is because it just looks better than a clip. It also keeps the hair in the direction that I want it to be for the rest of the haircut. So sometimes when you twist everything up in a Zulu knot, just it takes away some of the timing. So just braiding it, keeping it in the direction. I'm, I have everything combed the direction I'm going to have it later. So it's just quicker work. So now I comb everything down, hold it 
flat with my fingers. This will start my guideline, but also give me zero elevation. So a lot of people would pinch it in their fingers at that point. But what that's gonna do is give you that flip because it's gonna cut shorter hair. It's gonna give it a slight bit of elevation. So you're not gonna get a strong line on the base. So keeping everything tight to the neck uh, allows you to have pure zero elevation uh, on the bottom. So now I'm gonna work a backhand technique. The thing I like about this technique as opposed to holding it in my fingers and cutting it at my finger is that it really allows me to see the lengths that I'm cutting. So I go past the guide and then I visualize where I want that line to be and I cut it in. So tends to work on this type of cut where there's not a lot of density. I probably wouldn't do that same technique if this was a full bob haircut, but when you have a light density, it's a really cool technique just to create a line in there. So you can see I do the same thing on the sides, creating a little bit of an angle so it drops a little bit in the front following that jawline. Now this side is where you're gonna see the benefits of this backhand technique because I wanna match up this side with the left side. They're symmetrical, it's parted in the center so you wanna have the same length. So I find that visual point, I go past my guide or where my guide would be and I cut the hair exactly where I want it um, to match up with the opposite side. So it takes a little getting used to, definitely practice it, but it's a cool technique to, to add into your toolbox like we talk about. Uh, in other videos. So now we're using Bricado Mousse. I'm going to put that through the hair. I work it through with the brush and then we're going to do a flat wrap technique just to soften the hair, get it into a natural fall, get it nice and smooth. You can see the shine starting to develop on the hair. Really that comes from the air passing over the cuticle, laying that cuticle down and just creating that reflection of the light. So we go back and forth polishing the hair and, and working that flat wrap technique. I'm using the Ergo Paddle Brush. Uh, it's got great tension, it's really soft on your guest. So it pulls the hair nice and tight, gives you that tension, creates the shine, so just a really great tool. Now I'm gonna go in, finish it off with the Bricado Vibra Straight Iron. Um, so the great thing about this technique is that there's not a lot of density left in the hair. So ironing it's pretty simple. Um, you don't have to work through the back nape. That's the hardest part. It's where all of you guys out there, if you're not a hairdresser and you have a bob haircut, you struggle with trying to get the nape smooth. But if you have it cut short and you have an undercut, you don't have to worry about that. So we go through, just use the Vibra Straight Iron, mid shaft to ends, polish it out. And now I'm gonna do my finishing touches with, a, with some dry cutting techniques to really just pull this haircut together. I wanna to add a little bit of texture to it, but I also wanna polish the outer perimeter. And that's what we're doing now. Still using the Type K, um, just smoothing out the front there a little bit more, but using the Type K, the point of the scissor to go across the perimeter, cut it um, that line that I want. And now I'm gonna go through doing the tease cutting technique. The trick to this technique is it's a half open, half closed. So you're not actually closing the scissor down on the hair. You're just pinching the hair into the mid shaft of the scissor, so of the blade. So really just uh, pulling the hair into the middle of the blade, half cutting as you push in, teasing the hair in that way, and then that'll give you your cut. So you don't want to close all the way. You just want to give it a nice, soft, teased cut feel. Gives it that separation and texture. I'm going to break it down and go a little bit slower here in one second. So... Same thing, I'm grabbing hair, pulling it straight out from the head, no over direction. We're not trying to change the shape of the haircut. If I over direct the hair, I would shift the weight. So half close, half, and then open, half close, then open. And just holding the hair straight out from the head, creating a light feel to the layering that we're creating. Elevation is nice and high, you can see that. I hold it high up in the air and I let my guideline fall out so I let the outer perimeter fall out because you don't want to cut into the outer perimeter. Once that falls out, then I start the uh, tease cutting technique throughout. All right, so we're gonna finish off the cut with this product that Joico sent me. It's called Hair Shake. And the cool thing about this product, when you shake it, it sounds like it's a uh, spray paint can, but then when you spray it out, it comes out feeling like you think it's a liquid, and then by the time it hits the hair, it turns into a powder form. So it gives you this really cool texture that I think is unique to a lot of different products out there. Um, it's got a really great smell to it. So just a really cool way to finish off uh, a textured haircut. So next time guys, next video, I'm gonna color this haircut. So let me know what you think. This is the color technique that we're gonna do. We're gonna create more of a rooty look to it with nice light ends.
So be sure to check out our online shop, freesaloneducation.com. You can get 20% off by using the code MATTBECKVLOG. Sign up for our partner membership. And if you're not a hairdresser and you're watching this video and you want to find a new hairdresser, go to hairsalonlocator.com. That's our website. And make sure you subscribe below. Thanks for watching.